Hello and welcome. Today we're being blinded in the face by the cube, staring at this extremely loud waterfall and taking way too much inspiration from the bad cave. Now, let us begin. And here we are at the starting location. Very first thing, my effects volume is way down because this waterfall is a screaming, raging torrent of noise that I don't want to listen to for the next 20 something hours as I build this. So that's why things are a little bit quieter. Now, have I planned anything? No. Do I think this will end in a beautiful factory? Possibly. Is that going to stop me from trying? <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, we have placement in. I still don't know how I feel about the shape. I think I'm going to jut it out a little bit more up front, kind of separate these layers a bit more. And we don't have the manufacturers in or like train station, which will be going right there. And the manufacturers will be going on the ceiling. Same with the fix it sinks whenever I get those in. First floor, uh, like all hierarchies, are all the boring base production. Rubber, copper and iron ingots, steel ingots, concrete, stuff like that. That's all happening down here. Then we have the constructor section, which is for, you know, iron plates, screws, rods, copper sheets, whatever. And then the assemblers, which is all of our circuit boards, reinforced iron plates, modular frames, stuff like that. That little bit in the middle right there is going to be the storage room. It's going to kind of like, I mean, you've probably seen it. It's going to jut out and have like some nice windows so I can look out over my fuel factory, which is currently blocked by the mountain. Hmm. So the testing begins for the interior. I wanted to do something fun and creative. Uh, I wanted to use pipes as a decoration using the unpainted metal to kind of give it a rounded metal texture on the outside. And I don't know how to feel about it, but I do know it looks pretty damn good next to all this concrete. But this is very gray and not lit up at all. So what I'm going to do now is add some transition in between this wall and the ceiling and add some lights to both those just to kind of get a general texture vibe. Well, when you're standing in the middle here, generally ignoring the outside light coming in, I feel like this is a good dimness. I'm going for, okay, I'm watching the Christopher Nolan Batmans right now while building this. I feel like I'm taking a little bit too much inspiration of the general tone and feel of those movies because uh, I'm making this place real goddamn dark. But I put in this little transition right here with these big beams. Lights are kind of where the line bits are. Then I put one full row of ceiling that has nothing. And then the second row has some lights just to break up where things would be coming from. I don't know how I feel about this staircase. It's like, nah, whatever. Storage room. Oh, look at it. I made these blueprints, man, and they're beautiful. Like, look at them. They're just majestic. Basically, what we got is our center light to illuminate everything. And then we have this is set to like gloss two. And these are set to matte one just to add a little bit of detail and some underglow to the lighting. We have these new barriers in as detail for the conveyor lift. And then we have signs on each side to advertise what the item is. And then, of course, our single storage bin. I also messed around with this window so we could get a good view of the waterfall. I think I still need to change it because it's not quite centered. This staircase is really like messing things up okay we've moved on to the second layer uh downstairs while in no means is done it's at a good enough point to where i want to start working on the outside so i have to finish the second layer walls before i can do that i've added this new blueprint in it is a window i don't it's not like super detailed or anything it's basically just this hexagonal ish shape this light's brighter than most other ones will be so it shines a little bit more and then, of course, I'm using the same wall design. I'm not trying to experiment with every single goddamn room in this place. We're going to stick to our good old blueprint. I do love this view at night. I like how my power plant still isn't at full capacity. It's still overflowing. It's been so long. Fix yourself. Jesus. The other thing is looking at this place from afar. You can kind of get a sense of scale finally. It's pretty damn big when it's a solid concrete slab. And this interior at night looks absolutely amazing i love it so much i'm coming to a major problem i have no idea what to do here like i had a semi vision where i was like okay i want to see the water coming through and the water go down we have this whole thing i have no idea what to do for the walls or how to transition it to end it i i have no clue do gotta say though this view is one hell of a view looking at this roofed in and just going all the way down i mean you can't you can barely see the end but it lights up so nicely in here. I don't know how to feel about these lights. Uh, there's a lot of them and they're all set to glossy too. 
which means they are brighter than anything else in this building, except for these. So it really makes these machines kind of stand out. But also, this is a very enclosed area, and I needed the ceiling to kind of not be shown because I have half a meter foundation in between this floor and the next, which means I can do no detailing here. See, this is why you make blueprints, because if you don't know what to do with the space, you just shove them in there and you say, does it work? And when it does, it's fantastic. Like, look, it fits almost all the way naturally, except for the roof not transitioning correctly. I will fix that eventually. I add this little railway with the lights and the rails and so you can walk around the water bits and I add the grate in the bottom and that window so you can look out. You can stare at the nature outside and realize how gross it is and how you want to blow it up so you can build more factories. It's truly fantastic. Now, if you are wondering why the windows are inset by a full foundation, that is because when we work on the outside, I'm going to be working with a full foundation only. I will not be going out any more than that unless I'm dealing with like specific pillars. So this window will in fact be in the center of two foundations. It will look natural, I promise. It now with this bit done, which is arguably the hardest part because doing this took way too long. We now have to do something else I really don't want to do, which is since the interior is basically finished. I mean, I need to add like the rails and lights here, but it's basically finished. We get to do all the belt work now. Oh, yay. Oh, and there's this back wall. Shit. I forgot about this back wall. God damn it. Okay, well, I, I have to fix this too. I changed my mind. I remember I have free will. We're going to do the outside. I'm not doing belts right now. I'm going to work with more concrete. Ah, yes, my favorite. Because right now, I think you've seen it a few times, but our concrete slab is not the prettiest thing to look at. It's definitely a thing is not the nicest one. My plan is, I kind of started, we're gonna go down with the waterfall and then we're gonna have little legs. Not little legs, hold up. Blue slug, nom nom nom. So we're gonna go down and down and then that's the train station that's gonna go right there. It's supported by that rock bit. We're gonna have a diagonal leg going from about that point into the rock, probably there. And then we'll have one on this side too. They're going to be thick. They're going to be like three blocks wide and probably two blocks thick. So they'll look like they support this structure. The other thing is we still have to do the roof. Remember, manufacturers are going on the roof and I have, I think, seven to go up there. So I'm going to display them. This bit right here is the storage room. If you look real closely, you can see that I forgot to put the packaged fuel and the canister machine anywhere in this build. So I shoved it underneath my storage room. It fits. Kind of funny, but it fits. Our biggest issue is going to be making this look nice. I intentionally indented each level. So we have about two foundations to play with to go inward before going up. So we go up, in, up. I don't have to do that, but it's something to do. I do have to do that. I have the windows. Shit. We're going to ignore this side generally until I do get the train stations in. Same with a good amount of the bottom space. The reason for that is I have a train station coming from all the way over here. It will either go up through that gap right there and kind of go along the cliffside and merge with this train station. And I'll have to jut something out along this cliffside or it'll follow the ground, come along and kind of go to this bit right here or over the waterfall and over to this bit right here and then loop back around. I do not know yet. I need to build it first. So that section and the floor we are ignoring. Okay, we have a small issue. I've been doing this inner lining, outer lining. I don't know. I made blueprints. They're fantastic. Uh, and then I made this light one. Now, to be honest, I put this one one foundation in too much. I meant to stick it out so I could put the things on top. And then I was like, wait, it kind of looks cool being flush though. And then I could have a light transition into the rest of the build. Now, I don't know if it's because there's nothing on top of these lights. So it looks pretty stupid but I feel like the lights should be down there, not right here. And it's really throwing me off. Cause I don't, I don't, I just don't like how it looks. Like this looks cool without any lights, I like it. But then up here, when you add the lights to it, it just messes it up. My other issue is how, how am I gonna transition this? That's gonna be so hard. I, I'm, ugh, this is gonna be terribly annoying. Oh, well, who would have guessed adding stuff on top of it makes it look better. I haven't even like outlined this. I just shoved it in. I was like, I wonder if it's going to fit nicely. It does. Okay. Pillar number one and pillar number two. Pillow. Pillar number two is now in. 
I don't know how to feel about them. I'm probably going to change them. I changed them. Now they're going up, which makes a whole lot more sense. And if you look from afar, I got a little robot. I got his two feet, his head, and his two little arms. And then his massive goddamn forehead slash hat. I didn't want to make a robot. We're probably going to have to change that. I don't know how, but I'm going to figure it out. I basically just copied the bottom to the top. Some more triangles, did the windows, and now I have this new rail thingy in right here as a walkway. I wanted to have this because one, good view, and two, I didn't want to have just like three layers of concrete before the next floor started, I guess you'd call it. So I was like, okay, we'll put a railway in and it might be useful. And I think it looks pretty good. Also, we're like two thirds away through the video. If you're still here, please subscribe. Clearly you're enjoying the content. Just leave later if you stop enjoying it. I got bored of doing normal building stuff. So now I'm going to do trains. I just need to grab all the resources and badonkadonk. My mouse stopped working shit. There we go. And we now we have the wow. The recipe has really changed. Jesus. Plastic. Wire. Granted, I haven't built with trains very much, but I'm fairly certain computers and heavy modular frames were involved. Not these basic resources. What? If you look, I changed my mind on something. Right now we have railway along mountain. Yes. Oh, no, I'm going to die. I did this for two major reasons. One, I didn't want to build on the floor because now that I'm not building on the floor, I can get rid of these, which means my robot will no longer be a stupid goddamn robot. And number two, the train station that I was going to put there that was coming towards the coal, I realized was just too tight when it looked good. And it's such a little space. The coal is ahem, right here. So I'm just going to belt it through this little cavern right here. Whereas the other resources are all the way over here. So we'll train these ones in. Just belt these ones. You know, I think it looks pretty good. I need to work on the pillars. But I just came down here to say, huh, does it look like absolute garbage along this cliffside? Ignoring the nothingness there. Does this look good on its own? And so far, I I'm saying a solid yes. It looks half decent, which is a the important bit. And would you look at that? It's a whole train working. Uh, I've never messed with by trains. So one train goes both directions on the same rail. I've never messed with it. So I'm making sure it works right now. But I just set the train station up in both locations and these are the first items coming in. And oh my god, does it look beautiful. I'm just going to make sure this works. The interiors, like the interior, I basically just, you know, blueprint kept going. Still got to do this wall and this wall, but I wanted to get it in and make sure it would work before anything else. Because if it didn't, I'd have to have a train line go all the way around and reattach to this so it could go in a curve. Uh, I don't want to get smushed. And it sets off again. Okay, everything's working perfectly. I'm going to do the exterior of all. I'm, I just need to finish the exterior. I need to do this side, the back, and that side way over there. And then we should be good. Then it's on to belts and turning all the power on. I gotta say, seeing this thing through, like, the cliffs looks awesome. And that train station really does look good there. Oh, I'm glad I put it in. I feel like I put too many lights, though, but that's okay. Something to note for my next build. Okay, I know it's nighttime, but, like, look at this. It's done. It's in. I forgot to put uh, my wire <laughs> constructors in, so I had to put them on the roof. But these two machines are making the five computers. These two are making the four heavy modular frames. That right there is the overflow for every single item being made here, which is six, which is funny because down in the storage room, I forgot I was making six items. So I had to shove this extra storage bin in just right here. And I was like, ah, <laughs> it fits. It's fine. But all machines are on. All belts are in. A few things to note. I've built this very nice, uh, wall right here for all the base resources and the fuel the extra fuel going up to the fuel generators you saw and then up there you might see a little something and you want to know what that is over here where the water is coming in i have made another wall we have this which is a resource line these are all the three things being made up top the circuit boards computers and heavy modular frames they're coming across slowly and those are the base resources going up or over towards the assemblers from these constructors and i gotta say during the nighttime, this view is amazing. I did a few things for the outside of the building. I think the most noticeable being I changed the color of these things. They are now just the normal white concrete. The reason for that is they look a whole lot better. The dark concrete just looked shit, so I changed it. Along with that, the pillars are now all the way up, and they attach to the roof, and you can walk through them, which is fun and dandy. 
then over here we have the stairway that goes up towards the roof i put it all the way in this corner because i had nothing in this corner and I honestly don't care about how easy it is to get places. As long as you can get there, I'm happy. So long walkway. So with that being said, I know you just got a bunch of information shoved at you. I hope you have enjoyed my shenanigans. And I'll see you all next time. God damn, this is really a bat cave. Bye-bye. <laughs>